Hey everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. So we are going to continue on and make a couple of more tags. So in the last video, these are the three that we made. And I will show you what we did with the, or what I did with the last one uh, off the camera. So this was the last one and all we had was this um, ruffled tool stuff. Uh, and we didn't have anything up there, so I just put that up there like that. And then just put some bling here in the gold so it would match the um, eyelet right there. So that is those three. So we need to find... going to need to find a place. So I went ahead and sat here and did another one. So I did this one right here. And I just took the stuff that we took from that bag and placed it over the top here and then did an eyelet. Did some sorry up there put one of our polaroid pictures on there and then some more lace down here so that's that one so we're going to make two more uh and pretty much do the same thing with this across there at the top and i think i'm going to go ahead and cut this down again hopefully getting it straight as you know we have to pick out our flower because I don't have any of that ready. So I think that'll be good there. And then this one was really big. So let's cut it on down. And then that one is going to go there. Here we go. Alright. So let's see. I pulled my words over. Let's get them back over there. Okay. So, start with a couple of pictures, I guess. We'll see. What? I did pick out a few of these. Now, this has pink in it, and I actually think I'm going to use these two on this one. So, we're going to get our little scuffy tool, and this one is from um, Close to My Heart. I do have the Tim Holtz one, but I have to move some other stuff to get to it. So, we're just going to use this. And just scruff this picture up some here I hope you're all doing well today doing pretty good today it is Sunday when I'm filming the 28th I actually took um, today off and my husband asked me if I wanted to go somewhere and I had told him I'm like I'm just you you know you decide I'm just gonna get in a car and ride and I'll see when we get there so we actually did so we left this morning it is later in the evening when I'm filming but um, I guess we can go ahead and do this one while I'm talking um, left this morning and stopped at IHOP and got breakfast I love IHOP and it was not a great experience that's the first time we had actually been in that one so I don't think we'll be going back but anyway um, so we got in the car and started heading toward the North Georgia mountains and um, hit a flea market and all. So that's what we ended up doing. So it was lots of fun. Came back home, of course, he took a nap. I just pretty much just messed around and honestly did a whole lot of nothing. Alright, so now that we've scuffed up those edges, we will get our distress out and now we're just going to distress around these edges really good so it'll just make this photo look more vintage scuffing didn't do as good as the other ones did but it'll work but yes yeah, so I've had a pretty good day so far I'm working the closing shift tomorrow and Tuesday so I'm thinking I'll do some more filming in the morning got another project so we'll probably do these two tags together and then I will make some journaling cards and stuff out of the rest of these um, lace bases really that I have ready I was playing around with that one too trying to figure it out um, yeah um, probably go ahead and make some more of those so we can get these in our done ephemera okay 
so I think I do want oh I did pick up this meshy stuff today from Walmart we'd stop by there on our way home yeah just meshy stuff I don't know what you call it maybe we'll use a piece of it I guess I cut off a piece that was way way too big didn't I alright so let's just try to get corner of this that should be enough for both of them of course I don't cut straight so alright so we have a big piece so we can just drop over there for right now oh I gotta find something to put our envelopes in too that we had made We'll cut that about there. And then get us another one down. And there we go. And we'll have that piece for later. Alright, so we'll start out with this. And we can trim these edges that are hanging over. So, I mean, it's really subtle, but you can see it. So, there's that one. And there is going to be that one. So, I think we'll glue it down and then trim up these edges, some that's hanging off. So, yeah, been a really good day excited to come in here and get some more crafting done being we kind of actually he wanted to go and um, do some more today but my I know I told you guys in a video but I don't know exactly when it's gonna air or whatever but yeah um, went to the doctor about my foot hurting and they sent me for an x-ray and I actually have a bone spur at the bottom of my left foot so it was bothering me so we that's really the only reason why we only walked around at one flea market and guys their prices were so overpriced oh my gosh in my opinion it's like you know I know everything's going up but it's like they want to I mean it was a lot of you know old vintage and antique stuff you know stuff that would be great you know that um what's the word i'm looking for um you know country style stuff you know with the tin and different things like that milk churns stuff like that but my gosh they wanted way too much for all that stuff i'm like y'all are trying to get people in here that are you know tourists and travelers who don't know any better that you've got this stuff all overpriced it was ridiculous I actually ended up only buying a couple of pieces of jewelry but it was only like four dollars uh, like you know costume jewelry to use it was a really good deal I mean his was overpriced but we had this um, one building that we went in like some was outside and some was inside okay there's that and um <clears throat> saw a box in a corner and had like dollies and stuff in it but you could tell i don't know it looked like a rodent had chewed on them um or whatever but there was a lot in there that you know wasn't stained in this that and the other but you know the condition of the box and what i had to pull it out of left something to be desired but you know I can wash them and clean them up good let's see if we can get that center -ished. Um. so the guy was really busy talking to other people about what things were priced I don't know why those people just don't put a price on something but anyway I guess he's a haggler who knows which is weird because he's the owner of it but whatever if he likes to talk to people and whatever that's good I guess but um so I wrapped them all up and just sit them down close to where it looked like he had his you know payment station 
set up and then my husband walked on down because when we like walked down one side and walk up the other it's totally not centered good but anyway it'll have to do um and as we were coming back up the guy finally you know came back over to where the pay station thing was and about the same time we got kind of close i heard a woman point to the dollies asking the guy how much they were and i'm like hey you know i actually sat those there waiting on him so that i could get a price and uh, she was an elderly lady and instead of listening to what i said and saying you know what i would have done was been like okay you know sorry and then maybe hung around just to see if that person actually took them or not this lady did not do that she said uh again how much for the dollies i'm like okay i said that's fine she can have them and i put that on there upside down did i i did okay it'll come off that's what i get for talking I guess you guys were hollering at me, right? Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's fine. She can have them. And me and my husband walked around her and her husband and the um, owner of that booth, you know, to go around them to exit. And I didn't hear because I don't hear good, especially, you know, if you're behind me, I'm not going to hear what you're saying. It was um, hearing loss from uh, being abused as a child. Had this hearing loss my whole life. So anyway, um, but yeah, and then he stuck his head back down around the corner because we had already went to the outside part. And uh, he's like, ma'am, ma'am. And my husband's like, hey, he said you could have them if you wanted them. And I'm like, no, that's okay. She can have them. Oh, she doesn't want them. I'm like, well, I'm certainly not going to buy them, buy them from him. I mean, not now. I'm just not going to. And uh, then my husband said he heard that gentleman tell that other lady $30. I'm like, I wouldn't give him $30 for it anyway. I mean, some of them were like, you know, chewed up and just not very good condition anyway. But you guys know, there's still a small square I could have used off of it. So... You know, I'm willing to buy something like that. But $30, I'm like, this man has lost his mind. For sure. Okay, so I think we will go ahead and do um, our holes up here. So let's go about there. And just clip that off. Yeah, so that was... I don't know what's wrong with people. I mean, I get that you got to make money and you got to make a living, but um, that was ridiculous along with, you know. And as far as prices, it wasn't just him. I thought they all, m the majority of them were overpriced for the stuff that they were selling. So, it's like this is not the flea market for us today certainly not paying those prices anyway okay so now we're just going to get our eyelets in there these yeah but it was still a good day despite um, all of that we had a really good time nice peaceful drive and i'm not gonna lie i took a nap on the way up <laughs> then on the way back i told my husband i'm like um thank you for the um um riding nap he just let me sleep okay so we got those in there so that's good all right i'll kind of leave that there because like i said i'm gonna do a couple more off camera something to go on the bottom here I really like that one look that's going to be perfect Let's see if we can get it yeah that'll be cute right there oh and I have these words too so we can find us a word out of here 
had these words forever and ever. Alright, so that got that. Now, let's see if we have something that we want for the other one. Turn my glue gun on just in case. I wasn't sure exactly what all we would do on these. I think that was glue overkill there, but it'll be all right. Okay, let's get that squished down. Hopefully. So to come back up. I think I got way too much glue on it. Okay, we'll give that a few minutes. Try not to be so heavy handed on this one. Loving these things that we've been putting together for the journal. Oh, and I saw Anne. She did these, um, like, um, oh, shucks. I forgot what she called them. Let me turn this on real quick because I think I had her video up. Uh, Shabby Chic Fabric and Lace Paper Clips, I believe was a full name. Um, so, yeah, so I want to make some of those so I think that might be our next mass make if you will project to get ready for these journals yep I do believe it will be They were super cute. Oh, and I got, we went by Walmart, so I picked up some more small um, safety pins. Now, she used safety pins and other um, paper clips that were uh, rusted. Now, I tried to rust some. I don't think they came out great. I'm not going to take the time to rust those. Um, but then I also got gold, too, guys. Bigger ones. Pretty gold ones. So, and I just, like I said, picked those up at Walmart. Um, my husband got the stuff to wash our vehicles with and then came home and took a nap and didn't wash the vehicles so yeah but anyway maybe he'll get to it in a couple of days I normally get this um, man in town that does beautiful detail work on your cars uh, wash mine inside and out and he does it for like 30 bucks y'all but he uh, works for, I believe, our local, um, our local what, a word, our local um, electric company, um, you know, through the week and all. And then he washes cars on, or details cars, on the weekend. And... Um, yeah, and I work most, you know, I work every Saturday pretty much, so I don't never get to, or very rarely get to get a hold of him, but I just absolutely love it when he does, I don't know if we're going to use that one, let's see what else I have in here, um, but yeah, don't get to get him to do mine as much as I would like. to me just looks too big and I'm not sure where these words are from guys like I said I've had them in here for probably two years so there's the vertical ones but we don't need the vertical ones we need these Let's 
see what we have over here, maybe. Let's see, those all say journal. I already got one that says journal. What does that one say? Field notes. And, oh, that says timeless treasures. Let's do that one. Um, but yeah, so my car's like so dirty. This right here, guys, is, um, actually for your bathroom. You put, like, your eyeliners and stuff in it. And I wasn't using it, so I stuck it in here. I actually have my makeup and eyeliners and mascara and stuff in my bathroom. is actually in um, mason, blue mason jars without a lid. Just sticking out the top. It's really cute. But that's what I keep all that stuff in. And the foundation and powders and stuff is actually in a drawer. So that's how I do that. So I wasn't using that. So it's like I will just take it to the craft room and see if I can put it to good use. And I did. That's cute. I like that. And this one says, Be Humble. Those are cute. I got the oozy glues over here again. Just can't escape it. Now I have glue boogers everywhere. All right. How cute, guys. And then here's the other one. We could put something up there. Couldn't we? Got these hearts here. I like that, so maybe we'll do that up there. Cross here. Oh yeah, that's cute. Oh, much cuter. Yeah. Alright. Now do we want something to go on the top of this one or not? We'll see. I guess we could do, okay, maybe this and do some bling across the top. No idea which way that goes. But if we cover it up, it's not really gonna, with the bling, it's not really gonna matter. I think it goes this way. Yep. I think I got a fibers on the end of that. Little threads. So we can put that there. So crooked, so crooked. And then we could get this bling here. And put it right across there. Got stuff sticking to me everywhere, guys. From that glue. Okay, so let's see if we can get this down. I may enlist my scissors to help me out. Let's 
gonna try to put a CM code so it's not so messy. And then we can take hold on to that like that. And then just press it down. That's cute. Oh, I don't have it down this way far enough. Maybe about later. Here we go. Oh, that's cute. That bling there. I'm not sure how good you guys can see it. And I apologize. I mean... Uh, okay, that's cute. I like it. Okay. So, lid on the glue. But yeah, excited to do those paperclip thingies. This one, yeah, I think so. With this, we're just gonna do it this way. Let's get our little pokey tool thing. Get that through there. Here we go. Get those up through there. There we go. Oh, how cute. Look at that tag. Awesome. Okay. So we're going to do one more. Oh, got it, got it, guys. We got it, we got it. All right. So that's those two. How cute are those? Let's see which way that goes in there. All right, guys. So that is our two tags for today. Super cute. And again, I'm going to sit here and make some more and next video i will share those with you guys and then hopefully we will be doing the <coughs> new idea from her from and the paper clips so that adds and then there's the prototype so that is those so that's three, four, five, six, seven, seven tags to go in our journal. So this is going to be super fun. I am so excited. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Please do me a favor. Oh, and I was going to say, hopefully by the next video, I will have something to put our... Oh, see that messy stuff is getting caught up and everything our envelopes which are still just sitting over here beside me um something to put these in so that these are ready to go too so we'll probably have one thing for pockets and then something else for the tags if i could find a couple of small things so i think we're really getting a good stash going um for our upcoming journals so that's super fun also am thinking about making some more of those um uh, shabby chic flower thingies that I made in a video uh, and may have posted today on Sunday I'm not quite sure I'm losing track of videos and everything else these days just a lot going on um, so yeah but we will find somewhere to put those and do the paper clip thingies I did not get the 
uh, signature sewed in or did not sew the pocket. I think we showed that last time, didn't we? So this is going to be the lace pocket on the inside if you didn't see it. So I've just got to sew that in and then sew the signature in. So hopefully by the next video I can, maybe I'll do that in the morning um, to get that done. Alright guys, love you guys. Thank you all so much for your support. Please leave me a super quick comment. Give me a thumbs up. It's a wonderful way that you can uh, support my channel. You can also support me and my endeavors by going over to my Etsy shop, having, you so, having yourselves a shop if you find anything that you're interested in. Um, I've got some journals in there and then some other vintage ephemera and I do have a couple of digital downloads and I still need to get those um, antique and vintage documents scanned. Oh, yes, what's, when's my next day off? Friday. Um, who knows, maybe I can get it done Friday. I have no clue. Like I said, lots going on, lots to do. Alright, love you guys and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.